Diaz was fantastic. I mean, we have the number one defense in the country this year in overall metrics, but just many specific metrics. And hopefully we will continue to see that in the Ole Miss game against a very strong SEC offense. But there are some potential new guys that we can get. The, the one that sticks out to me is Tom Allen. He was the former Indiana head coach. He led some very solid Indiana defenses. And is, this would feel like a move that was very similar to the Manny Diaz move several years ago before we got him. And the fact that we're going and getting a head coach from a Power 5 program that did a very good job but wasn't really able to get over uh, – that kind of hump to make that program an elite program. Tom Allen did a very good job at Indiana, but Indiana was never going to be an elite football program under Tom Allen. And after a very rough season this season, and after Phoenix transferring to Washington, Allen has been let go and is looking for a job. And I think he'd be a very strong fit for James Franklin. He already knows Big Ten football. He already knows what it's like playing in the north in the cold weather. And he's a guy who's got a very good defensive mind. And I think he'd be a good fit for us here at Penn State. Then you have Joe Harris-Miak. Harris-Miak? I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce that name. Uh, But he's the Rutgers defensive coordinator currently. And everyone knows Rutgers had a very good defense this season, especially in that first half of the season when they were a top 10 defense in a lot of statistical metrics. And they were a very nasty team to play. And while they didn't win too many games, I believe they went 6-6 six and six this year, but they were still a very solid team on the defensive side of the ball. And your Hera Simiak might be a good guy to go get if you're James Franklin. And he would be more of an up-and-coming guy. He's someone who doesn't have any head coaching experience, but maybe that's what you want at this point. Maybe you want somebody who is going to have some stability at that coordinator position and is willing to be a coordinator for you know the next three, four, five years instead of somebody like Manny Diaz who was a head coach and was always looking to be a head coach again even when he came to Penn State. 